Hi everyone, welcome back to another tutorial. In this video, we will cover three simple tricks to master logo animation in Adobe After Effects. As usual, you can find a project file link in the description to download and follow along with the tutorial. If you are not familiar with setting the Adobe Illustrator file for animation, check the video linked in the description. So let's get into it. Select all layers and convert them into the shape. Delete layers to have a comfortable workflow. Press Y and drag the anchor point to the middle of each letter. We will need to fix all anchor points. Select all letters by pressing and holding Shift. Press S for scale properties and create a keyframe. Move them further in the timeline. Create another one and put the value to 110. Move them to the middle for an overshoot animation. Create the final keyframe and set the value to zero. Press and hold Alt to control the timing of keyframes by using your mouse. Now let's move the layers in the timeline to set the right timing. Select all layers and move them forward in the timeline. To create a path for the circle animation, we will need to use a pen tool. Deselect the stroke and draw a line similar to this one. Search for the path and put a keyframe. Copy that keyframe and select the circle layer. Press P for position properties and press Ctrl and V to paste the path. Position keyframes will automatically appear here. Rename this layer to a stroke. Select the stroke and put the right amount. Search for the length and set the amount to zero. Then search for the cap and choose the round cap. Select the trim path. Put the keyframe for the end and set the amount to zero. Create another keyframe and set the value to 100. Do the same thing for the start keyframes. Well, it looks weird. Let's move these keyframes like this. We will need to adjust the timing for a smoother animation. Select the circle and stroke layer and press U to reveal the keyframes. And now play around with keyframes to find the right timing. Adjust the timing until you get the best results. Create a null object. Select all layers and parent them to the null layer. Press P for the position properties and put a keyframe for an ending position. Put another keyframe and move it to the right. Ease the keyframes and adjust the timing. Then adjust the animation graph and let's review the logo animation. Hope this trick was useful. If you have any questions, feel free to ask in the comments section. Let's move to the second logo animation trick. Search for the CC Bender effect and apply it to a letter shape. Fix the anchor points. Set a keyframe and press U to reveal the keyframes in the timeline. Move the keyframe to set the last position of the animation. Create another one and set the value to 4 for an overshoot animation. Create the final keyframe and set the amount minus 4 for a starting position. Don't forget to ease the keyframes. We will use the same technique for all letters. Let's choose the right timing for the action. Select the circle layer. Press P for position properties and put a keyframe. Move it forward and put the time indicator in the middle and create this overshoot animation. Copy the last position and paste it to make it a start position as well. 
By pressing and holding Alt, you can control the speed of an action by using your mouse. Ease the keyframes and adjust the graph. Create a null object. Select all layers and parent them to the null layer. Press P for the position properties and put a keyframe for an ending position. Put another keyframe and move it to the right. Ease the keyframes and adjust the timing. Then adjust the animation graph and let's review the logo animation. Hope you enjoyed the trick and learned something from it. Let's move to our final logo animation trick. Create a rectangle similar to this one. Press S for scale properties and put a keyframe. Move the keyframe in the timeline. Adjust the size using your mouse and the scale keyframe will automatically appear in the timeline. Create a final keyframe for the start position and change the size until it disappears. Ease the keyframes and press P for position properties. Put a keyframe and press U to reveal all keyframes in the timeline. Put an end and start position. Move the rectangle to the right for a start position. Adjust the graph and ease position keyframes as well. Now I want you to play around with keyframes for finding a better result. Select the first letter layer and move it in the timeline. Press S for scale properties and adjust the size until it matches this letter. Now work with keyframes for the best outcome. Let's fix the anchor point by pressing and holding Y on the keyboard. Select the letter layer and press S for the scale properties. Put a keyframe for an ending position and put another by adjusting size of a letter. The keyframe will automatically appear on the timeline. Let's bring the anchor point to the corner and create the final overshoot keyframe. Press U to reveal all keyframes and adjust the timing. We will use the same scale properties for other letters. Choose the last letter. We will need to create a squeezing effect. Select the position and scale properties and adjust the size by using your mouse. After that, ease the keyframe and adjust the graph. For this effect, I animated a circle position as well and created a path with the same techniques that we covered in this tutorial. Create a circle and set the right stroke amount. We will need three keyframes. The start and end positions will be the same. Fix the anchor point. Locate it in a right position. Move the time indicator to the middle and increase the size of the circle. Then press T for opacity properties and create keyframes for this fading effect. Let's review the final animation. Thank you for watching until the end. Please hit a like button and subscribe if you enjoyed the tutorial. See you in the next one.